Well, Jono Gibbs made a switch to lock last night and made a good fist of it as his side scored a very good win against a jaded-looking Waratahs team. Just one change has been made to the Chiefs' pack. Sims Davison gets the nod at loose head prop as a concession to the Highlanders' scrummaging power, but Keith Robinson is the man to whom the Chiefs will really look to dominate the air, especially with Simon mailing out of the Highlanders. It's a welcome back to his home town for Tom Willis, former All Black, of course a former Highlander as well, doing a good job with the Chiefs. But the man they're all going to be looking at, the home fans tonight, is this man here. Byron Kelleher played 54 games for the Highlanders since moving to the Chiefs. He really has done much to energise their effort. Well, they lost last week to the Crusaders, but felt that their effort was the best of the season. A big blow with the loss of Simon Mailing. And a big challenge ahead for his 22-year-old stand-in, Tom Donnelly, tonight. Just a smattering of games for Otago and the NPC behind him. He'll lock the scrum with Daniel Quake, with Filippo Levy pushed back to the reserves bench. Perhaps that's recognition of the Chiefs' very good line-out game. Well, Nick Evans is one of the players being talked about in New Zealand at the moment. He appears to have the X factor. But the... Yeah. Oliver hits the ball from Quaite at the front. Tony Brown now bringing Hayden Pedersen in, and he has some electrifying pace. He lost the ball. The referee says play on Tony Brown. Running around behind Lyndon Bray. Here it comes. Oh, just having to bend down, and he's got to bend a long way, Donnelly. And here's some turnover ball, and Sims Davison, the big prop. He's got Lowen with him, kicks Firetails after it. He's been pulled down, has he? Wait for the referee. Penalty tie, yes. He pulled down without the ball. No option for the referee. No, it was clear cut. I mean, that is a penalty try that you'd have to agree with. Captain. You think he's got a yellow oh, card as well? Him out. Well, adding insult to injury, off he goes to the bin for 10. Tony Brown emerges with it. And uh, Keith Lowen's gone down in a heap on the far side and is leaving the field, and they've got an overlap. But, oh, Evans won it on his own. Still got it, though, the Highlanders. And the pass has been rolled forward. Two. Good hit in by the Chiefs, but steady scrum for the Highlanders. Brown scoops up a low pass and doubles around. Brown having a go on his own. Caught just short of the line. They'll try and work it over here. Now it comes to Hurst. Mapusua! Can they hold him up? It's a try. Back it was. The ball came quick, and Mapusua just having the strength to get over. Clear cut try, deserve it. 80% possession. And Byron Keller having a go on his yeah. own. There was a lot going on out to the left of him. Seven blows, in fact. Now they'll go that way. David Hill running it to the line. Oh, and, oh easy for Maisie. Well, they were stretched like a piece of chewing gum ready to snap. Oh, it was great play by the Chiefs, wasn't it? Jono Gibbs. David Hill. Marty Holler. Robinson. Driven to the ground by Harding. Now the switch to the left and David Hill moving onto it nicely. Maisie again. Savini Silvamatu is in on the corner. Nice steady build up from the Chiefs. Two out of two so far for Hill. And that is 900 points in first class rugby and what a way to bring it up. Yeah, that ball looked to me like it was going to go to the left hand upright and then it just swung back all of a sudden. That's a hit with inside outside bias. He's that last pass and this guy, he's done everything but score tries really this year. He looks a very exciting player. So Chiefs three converted tries to one. Tony Brown moving it on to Salela Mapusua who makes a clean break. Now he's going to have Crichton on. Oh, good stuff. And here comes Blackie. Great try, great reply when they really needed it. Forward now. Still trying to disrupt things. Oh, it's good work. This is well out. It's got to come, and there it is. Good depth, too, on the Chiefs' backs. Sidavini left it behind him. And hacked away by Mapusia. He's in everything.
nothing at the moment. Slips just short of the line. It's there. Peterson, try. Well, how the tables turn in this wonderful game of rugby. Some traffic. Now away well, on the short left. side. Now Ranby. Sit of any. Oh, nice hand off to David Hill. Ranby carries it on. Oh, this is good ball if they get it now. They've got them stretched out wide. What is Loaki going to do? Have a go himself. Yeah, by the time he pulled the pass in, chance might have been lost. Now Kelleher brings it back to Hill. Runs a nice oh, angle. beautifully done. David Hill, can he hook oh, up with Marty? He can. Oh, can. Sleight of hand. Watch the replay. Beautiful. Up, Tony Brown. Something could be on on the left-hand side of the field here as Marcus Sewer brings it forward. Hurst scragged but gets it away to Hoff. Kelleher makes two tackles in a row. Hacked away by the Chiefs. And Nicholas has to pick it up and gets them going forward again. Oh, great stuff. Marcus Sewer again. second, have a look at this, he was held by Bates somehow he struck free he was tackled here and he kept going long enough to flip it up to Mapasua who was almost a standing start Bates to Hill and now Maisie got back to his feet because he wasn't held Kelleher, Hill just running into or trying to run into a little hole on nice offload, Ranby driving hard into the 22 Picked up by Gibbs. Now out it goes off to Deacon Manu. Crichton up. Try to float a long one now to Miller. Fire down. Lobby fire down. The Chiefs are back in front. Oh, beautiful score. So spread again. Manu playing at first 5-8. What the a big pass, pass from Crichton. They so stepped inside his man. Beat Tony Brown's cover and also beat Mapasura. He beat three tacklers. Oh, that's the first inning. Well, that's gone loose. Kelleher picks it up as the siren goes. He'll be happy to take the touchline. And the Chiefs have done it. And in the end, the Chiefs win it by 36 to 31.